Folks, we're here in Natarita, Colorado, and we have a 2006 Kenworth T800. It's got a Cummins ISX with 475 horsepower, and it's got an 18-speed in it. They've had a lot of recent work done to this, and we'll detail that in the listing. Just wanted to kind of do a walk around for you guys so you could see the truck up close. I think a lot of times you'll pick up stuff on a video that maybe you don't pick up on pictures. So we'll just start up here on the front left-hand corner of the truck, and I think overall the body's in good condition. You can see... There's a little bit of fading on the paint, uh, maybe a little bit of cracking on the paint starting to happen up here on the hood. But overall, from a from a body perspective and from the fiberglass perspective, we're in pretty good shape. Tires are very good on the front. I'm going to say those are 80 to 90 percent tread up here on the front. You do have chrome rims on the front or aluminum rims all the way around on this on this truck. So as you can see, you've got a good brush guard up here on the front as well. It's got your toe pin on the front. And coming around here on the right-hand side, it looks kind of the same way the other side does. The fiberglass is all good. Uh, again, the paint's faded just a little bit, but that is a very minor uh, cosmetic flaw, in my opinion, on this truck. Little man we're selling this for, he's upgraded trucks. He just doesn't use this one anymore. And uh, that's the only reason they're trying to get rid of it. Uh, you can see it's here in Natarita, Colorado, where the little construction company is that he's got. But overall, just a good, solid little truck. Each tank has... Uh, 100 gallon capacity on each side so you can have 200 gallons in fuel and you can see the cab storage underneath the cab is all good single exhaust on this truck guys i'm confident we do have a jake brake on this we're here in the mountains in western colorado you just don't hardly find one that doesn't have a jake brake on it and we also have a wet kit on this one two line wet kit you can see right there tires on the back are very good just like they are on the front uh, 11 r 22 and a half i'm going to say again 80 90 percent tread aluminum wheels all the way around air ride suspension on the back end and i think it said 411 on the on the differential i had i got a picture of the differential you guys will see it in the listing but i think it's got 411 rears on it technically i don't think this is a sliding fifth wheel plate but you can see you can adjust it and move it forward if you want to push it for, further up towards the cab of the truck Here's where you've got your hydraulic reservoir for your wet kit. I'm going to speculate that's a 50 gallon tank. Most of them are. You can see you've got a valve on the bottom to shut it off with, but uh, it is set up so that you can run a wet, uh, wet kit off of this. Where this truck has a wet kit, so you can run hydraulic lines off of it. Same thing on this side, just a good, clean little truck. And again, 100 gallon fuel tank on each side for 200 gallons total. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to lift the hood on this and get some pictures and videos of the motor. Uh, the little man that we're selling it for has not gotten here yet with the keys, so I can't start it for you, but as soon as he gets here, we'll start it up.